Hello everybody, this is Peril, and this is take two of uh, recording something that is a little different. Uh, rather than being something of me playing a video game that is existing in some manner, which is kind of, no, not that this... This is actually something I've been working on for, I don't know, a month or so. And, like, not this month, though, like, this was months, months ago that I just haven't been able to work on because of other stuff taking over, like MC Skin 3D and stuff like that. Uh, basically, if you can guess by the name... This is Gaunt Loot, as I called it. And basically, it is a modern re envisioning, in my eyes, of an old arcade series called Gauntlet. Uh, as you can see, there's four characters down at the bottom right there. The uh, bottom left, sorry. Um, and yes, player zero. Red Warrior. Red Warrior is it. So there's some basics here. Uh, there's a. You can only hit him when he's not flashing, that is. Like, otherwise, it'll go, just go through him. I can show you that, I don't know. And time it. Yeah, see? There's a, that was a spawner, by the way. Uh, you have the melee attack, and you have a ranged attack. Uh, you have magic, but I don't know of any map that has been made here that has a potion in it. That there's an acid puddle. This was a test map to test out acid puddles, and as you can see, he's just kind of moving in a circle. Basically, he just moves randomly and changes directions every once in a while. So he may never hit you, and he may actually always run into you. And he does a lot of damage. Um, yeah. It's something we've been working on, uh, me and James, that is, and we just have not really had a chance lately to work on it. But um, considering this is like my first real big game thingy, eventually I do want to really finish it and get it all ready and stuff. Um, I'll just quickly do some do a couple overviews of these levels. Uh, I already did these all once, Welcome. and then realized that my microphone was being a little dick, so I don't have any of that anymore. Uh, I'll just go through them all quickly again because rock thrower. They have, I'll show you soon, but they have the most complicated AI in this game so far. Ow, ow. Um, I haven't been able to beat this map yet. I got my ass kicked last time. Nah, go away, death. Oh god, he hurts. Go, 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 go. <sighs> you fear that black guy. Because he is death. So, uh, for those of you who actually do play Gauntlet, you can kind of tell, basically, this is sort of a random, not a random, but a, um, uh, a strange mix between the two versions, uh, the NES version and the well-known arcade version, which is also, which has been ported, like, non-changed to, you know, things like Sega, 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 Sega Saturn and things like that. Um, it's a mix of that and the NES version. I found the NES version a lot, or the NES slash Game Boy version. Uh, a lot more enjoyable on my end, just because it it, it had less of a f less of an arcadey feel, and it went more for an actual game, if that's if that sounds right. Um, but you know, a lot of people like the arcade version too. So, in in the way of catering to both styles, I uh, basically sort of have a strange mix of them. Like the the firing works in the Nintendo style, um, because if it was the uh, the arcade style, I could basically pump against this wall infinitely like, really quickly, but you, basically in the arcade version you can only have one shot out at a time. I am getting raped here. Oh yeah, I think I found this map had no end, that's what I like. So yeah, it's a strange mix between that version. Um, Force, good luck, I think was the one I'm with. Yeah, no, that one's bugged. Maybe it was Death Run then? Yeah, that's one. This map was our first, uh, uh, one of our first maps actually, I think James made it. Maybe. No, White made it, because I remember putting that force field there. And said, what do you do to my map? I'm going to complain about everything ever. But, yeah, this was the first test of force fields, which, uh, when they're black, basically, go. When they're not, don't go. Otherwise, they hurt you and do that. <laughs> I won't show you the rest of the map, because it's basically all the same. Uh, rock test, I can just show you the AI real quick of these guys, Welcome, and I don't want the demons to come in. Basically these guys are the only guys with actually the most complex AI in that they, they try to stay away from you, and then they go up to you when they have their rock ready and throw it. Their rock follows a visor curve path, which kind of makes it look like it's 3D, but it's really not. Uh, 
Um, it doesn't really look that impressive as a single player game, but where I envision that it will shine is through the multiplayer, which will mostly gear towards co-op gameplay, but um, it would be really awesome for there to be uh, things like Deathmatch and all that. Um, Red Elf now has a reflective shot. Oh, there's a potion here. I can show you the potions. Uh, I do kind of p basically want it to be uh, a multiplayer gauntlet, and that's pretty much like that's where I'm going to stop in terms of gauntlet loot. Um, but I do want to eventually use this base to make uh, a custom game, which is sort of like a, a dungeon hack and slash, but on like a really on a on a gauntlet type of level. So these are the demons. Oh, sh I shot the food. Remember, don't shoot food. <laughs> Pro. Yeah, those guys are the demons, and they're very annoying because they can do both melee and ah, and uh, they just don't stop firing at you. You know, I just noticed they shouldn't probably shouldn't fire directly at you and should kind of spread around you because that's what they do. But they are good if you want to take out enemies because they will actually fire at other enemies. So that's that's the only good thing about demons. So that's about it, really. There is a map editor and all that, uh, but like I said, I'm not really going to show all that. It's it's somewhat. It was, this is somewhat of a private project, honestly. Um, oh yeah, hidden walls. It's hidden because you couldn't see that at all. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, there's some new stuff coming on the channel soon, so hopefully I'll have more viewers and be more popular and stuff. So I'll see you guys later.